My name is Troy Grisa, AKA Controlled Burn, if you're introducing my stage act. I'm from Wisconsin originally, then I moved down to Florida, then I moved out here to the Pacific Northwest in Portland. Depending on context, I have many different favorite props. I could just make a list of them, but I would say overall three poi. If I was stuck on an island and I had three contact poi on static tethers, I would not be that sad. Picked up a set of poi about nine years ago. I went to a lot of raves. Eventually I went to one rave where it was a world beats show, which is just sort of an Eastern influenced bass music night with a little bit more sort of conscious crowd. Just a bar in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm ordering a drink at the bar when a pod boy flies across the room and like a Batman grappling device wraps around my leg and kind of like trips me up a little bit. I go, what is this? So I hold up the, the LED pod boy. It's still glowing on the rainbow mode. And I just kind of look at it. I'm like, ah, this is, so this is what they feel like in your hand. Well, right when I'm doing that, this uh, look with dreads and, and a beard comes up to me and he's got a smile. He goes, hey man, that's mine. So I hand it to him and he takes it and he just wiggles his way back into the crowd while dancing, which I don't know why it moved me. I was 20, 20 years old, maybe 21. I'm 28 now. I can't remember why that moved me so much, but essentially his role as a participant in the dance floor culture, all these people with hoops and poi and probably staffs, I'm like, I want to participate in that culture. What's the buy-in cost? Took out my phone and ordered a $20 set of spin balls. Oh, what is a flow state? How many people have answered this? A flow state is when you have a slightly raised heart rate. Maybe your pupils are dilated a little bit. You're a little warmer than you were when you started. It's the optimal state of brain-body connection. To balance work and play, flow arts is great. And to balance mental and physical, it's great. It just brings balance to the body. My performances at Dante's are my contribution to the local scene. I am overly confident in my stage acts. I'm really exaggerated with my movements. I want to inspire people to be their best selves and to be the, to do the most, you know, to be their most extravagant version of themselves they can. I want to contribute to the three poi community. I love juggling poi in wall plane. I want to inspire people to do their technical challenging tricks in new environments. I like to write music about flow arts. I like to write inspirational music about flow arts. Hip hop, sort of poppy sounding music. So flow on fire, you find them very quickly in two places. First is poi chat when you ask, hey, what do you recommend for contact poi? What do you recommend for high-end LED practice poi? What do you recommend for fire poi? Other competitors are mentioned, but flow on fire consistently is the first company mentioned. I had a very specific need, which was LED knobs for my fire poi. Flow on Fire sent me the prototype of that. It was one of the very first LED knobs on a set of Technora tethers. Like, that's a given. You know how many tosses I do in a set with three poi? Like, I need that. And that made a really big difference to me and it was the same price as their competitor. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do business with them. My interaction with Britt was like, I got really fast response times. Custom props didn't elicit the response of, oh, I don't know. It was like, we'll figure it out. And then the next layer was when I looked at their portfolio. They had an excellent Etsy page that just made it so easy. I felt so confident going forward. I enjoy working with Flow on Fire so much because I get to impact the world that I want to. I get to put uh, R&D, research and development ideas into the works. And then I get to see them come to life. The amount of people that Brit sponsors, of course I wanna work with that. Of course I wanna be with somebody who's putting money back into the community. I, I just feel such an impact on the community that I love. I wouldn't get that elsewhere. The discipline almost came out of necessity from spending so much time on a computer. I'm like, ah, I gotta do something 3D. What's more 3D than this toss? It's right in that sweet spot of muscle and tactile feedback. So my discipline is publicly jamming. I'm gonna jam where people can see me. Again, going back to my stage X, I wanna inspire people to do their thing. I don't, I don't care if you juggle. I care less if you pick up and juggle three poi. Do your thing. Do your version of three poi when you see the weird guy in the park He's so focused, he's so disciplined, but he's doing something that looks silly. That should inspire you. You could say my pastime's a bit of an oddity. Well, crowds of muggles say I'm considered a prodigy, but I'm not an anomaly. Lots of weirdos spinning. Commonly, us heroes are hidden, lurking in the woods with festies and wooks, working on our patterns, getting plenty of looks.
That's a wrap.